Hey, what's up guys? So I just started experimenting with the uh, ESP8266, which is a very low cost Wi-Fi module. And it comes on a little mini board similar to the NRF 24L01 Plus, which is that uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless transceiver. And I did a video on that uh, a couple months back. And if you remember, I actually had to connect wires into this little board down into my breadboard because the eight pin header on that mini board is not exactly breadboard friendly. So uh, I decided to design a little mini adapter board that allows these modules to connect directly into a breadboard. And it's really cool. And I just got them in today and I ordered them through dirty PCBs, which means that I was able to release the design to their store and you can actually buy these boards yourself from their website. So I'll have a link down in the description below where you can actually uh, buy these boards. And as of today, when I'm making this video, they cost uh, 14 US dollars for 10 boards. So it's a ridiculous, ridiculously good deal. So uh, check that out. Uh, but let's take a closer look at this. Okay, so here is the uh, ESP8266 and here is the NRF 24L01 Plus. And both of these modules have the same eight pin header. So they both work with the adapter. And basically how it works is the, here's the module and then that plugs into the adapter. And this is just a simple board. It does nothing but spread the two rows apart so that they're breadboard friendly. So from dirty PCBs, um, you will get uh, a little tiny board like this. And uh, I bought them with blue solder mask. Um, and it took like it took like a month to get the board. So I think maybe uh, it would be faster if you went with green solder mask because that's more of a standard color. And since this is a batch PCB company, meaning that they are putting all of your PCBs together, all of your designs together on a single panel and they wait for an entire panel to build up and then they, then they cut it loose and build them. So since blue is kind of a non-standard color, it probably took them longer to fill up a panel. So that's just my guess. So I would recommend going with green, but that's what you get. But to build the adapter, you just need some headers here. So you need a female header and you need a male header and then you cut these down. So four on the bottom, four male header, four pin male headers on the bottom and then two four pin female headers on the top there. And then you just cut these down and, and make that. And these are pretty standard. These are just 0.1 inch uh, center to center headers. So. Nothing special there, and uh, I'll have the link in the description, so feel free to get these boards because they are a huge time saver when it comes to working with these modules. And it's kind of cool because that way you're not also soldering these directly into your design either. So, And I have smoked the, 24, uh, the 24L01 Plus before. So anyway, that is the little adapter board. Thanks for watching.